Hello, this is John Tesler for GeekyCool.com. I'm here with actress Claudia Christian, who's best known for a show that we cannot talk about <laughs> due to the fact that the SAG actor strike is going on. And, of course, everybody at Geeky Cool supports the actors and the writers in the WGA while they're also on strike. So this is going to be kind of a different interview than what most people would expect. First question. Well, hello, Claudia. Hi, Why don't you introduce Tom. yourself? <laughs> How is everybody out there? I hope you're well. Okay. First question, because of this, how are you handling the strike? Well, I am obviously in solidarity with my fellow actors and writers, and uh, I, I'm hoping that this gets resolved, but... Um, you know, I think it's, it's it's unbelievably important that we resolve these issues now. Otherwise, the future of this industry for us artists, uh, it doesn't look very good. So I'm standing in, in strength with them, and I think that this is a, a, a seminal time. It's a pivotal time for us. So I get out there and pick it, and I, um, I express my creativity in different ways. I've been making little funny videos and I've been <laughs> writing a lot and, um, uh, you know, just, just trying to do other things um, for my nonprofit, uh, C3 Foundation, C3Foundation.org, um, trying to create other projects so that we can stay busy and stay active. But at the same time, once again, you know, I think that this is important that we're fighting and we're standing strong and they're seeing that we are uh, unified completely. You mentioned your nonprofit, c3.org. C3foundation. C3foundation.org. Yes, exactly. I'm sorry. No. What is it? What's the goal? What's the uh, main direction of it? Who okay. do they help? I will tell you about c3foundation.org. Um, as a lot of people know, I suffered from alcohol misuse. And in 2009, I found a treatment that worked for me called the Sinclair Method, which is targeted use of a medication called naltrexone. So in 2013, I started a nonprofit so that people would have access to resources that they would need to start the method, in other words, find providers, <clears throat> and also to get a drink log app and to meet other people on social media. And I'm here this weekend with my wonderful executive director, Jenny Williamson, who has been standing by me the entire time and running the show. It's only the two of us. Um, and we just turned 10 years old. We provide, we are the only global nonprofit completely devoted to the Sinclair Method, to the advocacy of this method. So we have been providing resources for over a decade now. We have a coaching page, we have um, providers, we have, uh, uh, you know, any, anything that anybody needs to start and stay on this method. Um, you mentioned you were making funny videos. I've seen some of your TikTok videos for yeah. coming to Dragon Con. Oh, and yeah, I think no, they were. I'm not great. on TikTok. It's uh, Facebook. And, Facebook and, and Reels. Instagram. Yeah, and, yeah. I, I can't um, handle more than two. <laughs> what inspired you to make them? Because some of them are just flat out hilarious. Thank you. Well, here's the thing, and a lot of people don't know this about me, but I'm funny. Um, I get constantly cast as uh, the sort of serious, um, authoritative figures because of my height and my voice. Um, but in reality, I have been doing um, characters and voices and humorous bits since I was a child. And uh, I've just had very limited ex exposure as an actor in the comedy world. <laughs> I think I've done a, maybe five comedy jobs in my life. So that's just uh, me having um, fun basically. And I'll continue to do it until the strike is over. <laughs> Who's your favorite actor or actress to work with? To work with? Um, I had a particularly wonderful first big film experience on Clean and Sober with Michael Keaton and Morgan Freeman, and they were both very generous and kind to me. Um, but I would say that the overall fun factor would be all of the actors that I worked with on um, Babylon 5, those, those actors were hilarious. Jerry Doyle, Bruce Baxleitner, I mean, we just had a, a really wonderful, warm time. Um, I've followed you on Facebook for a long time, and I noticed you love to travel. Oh, yes. I love traveling. What's the best place you've gone to visit? 
Gosh, uh, well, I do love Italy, and I go back every year, and I hope to retire there someday. But there are there are so many places in the world. I loved spending time in India. I was in Ladakh and Dharamsala, um, and Delhi. There, the people are really what I I find so overwhelmingly beautiful about India, and I made some really nice contacts, just the human experiences were, were quite stunning there. As far as my favorite country, I mean, I'm, I'm an Anglophile. I've lived in England for 13 years, and I, you know, I just love London, and I love England in general. Um, so there's a lot of great places. Um, I hope to see more in this lifetime. And marrying off of that, you also have posted about loving cooking. Oh, yes, yes. I did a cookbook for gamers called Snack Hacks, and I did a show called Cooking with Claudia, and uh, I love cooking. It's a, it's a good meditation for me. It's very What's relaxing. your favorite cuisine to make? My favorite cuisine to make would be, well, I'm, I'm, my go-to is sort of a California French or California Italian cuisine that I make, um, that I'm, that's, that's my go-to, but for a while there I was experimenting with Thai and Indian, and that was fun, but a lot of hard work when you're grinding your own spices. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my big thing is going to, like, Vietnamese for pho and oh, things yeah. like that. It's good stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, now, of course, a lot of people you've worked with are no longer with us, they are beyond the rim. And recently, just a few years ago, we, we lost Mira Furlan. How did her death affect you, considering everything you've known about her? Well, it was devastating. She was a dear friend. I mean, it's... Um, okay, let's... You mentioned that you... Do you do art? Do art? Do you paint oh, or anything no, like no, that? Oh, no, 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 I don't paint. I, I, I don't have that talent. I just uh, write and act and uh, advocate and coach people and do that kind of thing. What would you say to an actor who's just starting out in the business? I would say um, that if you really, really want to do this, for a living, then you have to really devote yourself 100% to art. Um, it is one of the most difficult careers. People don't understand why one wants to become an artist. Um, it's especially challenging nowadays because anybody can become known for their TikTok videos, but it doesn't mean you can act, and it doesn't mean you know how to be directed. It doesn't uh, it doesn't mean that you you know, have the sensibilities of a trained actor. So I would say if you want to do any career, you get the best training you can. Do local theater, um, you know, go to acting classes and scene study courses and devote yourself to it. It's a, I'm not going to lie, it's not an easy career, but it attracts people who, who want to do it. Okay, going back to the big elephant in the room, which is, of course, the strike. Um... How is going to conventions like Dragon Con helping you and other actors deal with the fact that, you know, there's no work going on and both sides seem to be diametrically opposed on a lot of issues? Well, all of these conventions that we're doing were booked way before the strike happened. So, you know, the, the, we, we book these conventions to usually to promote projects. The fact that I can't promote the projects just means that I get to see the fans. Okay. Last question to wrap up. Mm -hmm. um, anything else you want to add? No. Uh, thank you to Dragon Con. And, and um, you know, they've taken lots of precautions to stay uh, in solidarity with the strike. And I appreciate that. And, and thanks to the fans out there for schlepping out here and seeing us all. So <laughs> take care. Thank all you, right. John. Thank you very much, Claudia. Thank you.